Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Clash of Clans videos. We're doing Town Hall 11 Max attack strategy for war and for loot. So here we go. Fixing to be Town Hall 12. We did max out this baby already. This base has never been three starred by Town Hall 11 or 12. Uh, rarely we get a Town Hall 13 tacking with like level freaking nine freaking dragons. And look at this, bro. Level nine drags, bro. Now, this was a Town Hall 12 Max. He did request some trips. He got me a three star there. But the closer we've had, even with the 11 of those stupid Halloween lava loons that are OP, look at these suckers, bro. Hold on a second. I have to admire this. Look at this. Bro, these things are from whatever planet, bro. I don't understand this. This is so stupid. I don't know why they add these, add these guys in the game. But the, this Halloween stuff, even this dude, the Witch Gauntlet, bro. I don't understand these troops, bro. I don't know why y'all add these things for Halloween stuff, but it's spooky as heck, bro. Maybe that's the idea. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the strat real quick. Okay, we got a mass miner mixed with the ice golem to uh, help the art the queen walk better. So, right now, for some reason, my freaking ice golem did not train. I'm gonna go ahead and look at this loot for me real quick. I'm gonna give you all my secret quick trains. Okay, here we go. This is the one. We have four wizards. 30 miners, 3 healers, 1 ice golem, 3 wall breakers, a archer, 4 healing spells, 2 freeze, 1 poison. In the CC troop, you only need CC troops to get a 3 star. I would still recommend getting either a yeti, a ice golem, or some poison with that as well. Or get both, you can fit both in a CC castle. Uh, castle? No, it's castle. Okay, there we go. Alright, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and look at the war map. So, he got... 95% on me. Wow, okay. So they've been attacking with the Halloween troops, which is fine. Jaybird smoked this guy so bad, number two. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to attack number two. I'm going to attack number one. Um, and he luckily had no CC troops at all. If he did, I would have just asked for an extra poison, two poisons in my pen castle and not these troops because he, they only have a town hall 11 max in their base as well. So they don't have any siege troops now my my uh other account he's a town hall 13 really rushed just for donations so he donates uh tons of troops etc like that so but let's go ahead and look at this base y'all um nothing big nothing serious it's a town hall 11 i was kind of worried about the two inferno towers here and how everything spaced out perfectly which is anti e-drag um, maybe you got the e-drags in the front, you could have done some e-drag stuff. I love e-drags as well, I have an awesome e-drag balloon, uh, ice golem start as well, if you want to see that. Let me know, but let's go ahead and look at this mass miner. So the idea is this, okay? You always want to take out an inferno tower as fast as possible. Um, I like to I like to send my troops in the center of the base. Now luckily, because these inferno towers are out, you're able to take advantage of that. I put an ice golem over here on this side. And I just kept pushing through inside the base. So let's go ahead and look at this. So I dropped the ice golem down. Just I want to get the queen. I don't care about if the ice golem dies or not. I just want to get the queen close enough that she's able to take out the the tower, which she's able to do. Put a armor down right there. Breeze is just enough for her to take out the cannon. After she puts down the two resources, she will attack that. I put a freeze down early because I don't want her to kill her. She actually ends up smoking this. Look at that. Bam. Put the siege machine down early. Want to go in the middle of the base. I want to get rid of the archer queen. Because they will kill all your miners. So after this drops, it drops a ice golem to freeze the archer queen. And a yeti with wizards. And that will take out the archer queen. 100%. Look at that. Dude, it just game over. From this point, you just want to make sure you do kill your miners when you need to. From big things like the eagle artillery is also a big dangerous thing. So... Well, that's why I use the Yeti, because the Yeti will take out the Eagle Artillery pretty quickly, even with the Barbarian King. Yetis are beasts, bro. Please put a Yeti in y'all CC, man. It's awesome. We got them coming up. I probably should have put my freaking Grand Warden as a ground troop, but I don't know what I was doing. It still worked out for a 3-star. At this point, my Barbarian King is looking at... He goes through the entire base like a boss. Miners will split three ways, which is not good, but they still do the job. I was kind of worried at the top side, but the top side has more miners than I thought. There was actually 10 or 12 left, I thought it was like only three. Archer Queen will take down everything except for the Inferno Tower. 
and those Yeti bites are going nuts, boys. So, all right. Let's finish this up. Miners go down with gold storage. Takes out these. Archer Queen does die. Miners take out some of the loot. Come back. And then we have about 12 miners left, boys. Or more. So that's it, man. That is that base. We have one Ice Golem, one Archer Queen level 50, uh, one level 7 Wall Breaker, three heals, five Wizards, 30. And then we have some Archers, Ice Golem, and um, Yeti in the CC with another heal spell. So, but that's it for that base. Now, when he attacked me, if you want to see my base, let's look at it real quick. My base is designed to send them on a rabbit trail to each square. And uh, here we go. Now, he lures out my CC troops, but only got two of them. And then he thought that was it, apparently. I don't know why, but um, I have a dragon and stuff in there, too. Okay, here we go. So from here... He sends these lava loons around. There's a lot of lava loons, bro. So my drag does get killed pretty fast from his freaking uh, poison spell. And his good warning ability, but I had him use that early, which is good. Now, I love the lava loons against my base like this because I have the multi-inferno. And it shreds the, the lava loon babies, or whatever they're called. Pups, I guess. I don't know. I don't care. So look at this, man. He gets all the way around this base, two squares left, and then the inferno starts to melt everything, bro. The expo is going off, man. But look at that inferno just doing its work, bro. It's crazy. At this point, I'm like, yo, you're done. And that's it, boys. 95% still got expo, some other stuff like that. So. That base is pretty good if y'all want to maybe design something like that. I'm sure you have some pretty good dang bases there. But let's go ahead and use this uh, in a real battle, man. Um, we don't really need to CC troops. My ice golem is not there. I do have to eliminate. Let me see what my ice golem is, bro. Maybe something happened. Maybe I donated. I don't know even what happened. Yeah, I think I donated. It's fine. I have this weird P.E.K.K.A. giant I like to do just for fun loot. Just easy, like, million gold. Just put it all on the sides of the base. But here we go. Let's go ahead and use this without ice golem and let's see what happens. Ice golem is important, but I can use a barbarian to do the same kind of job with the freeze. If the, if I can find a freaking freaking base now, because we're almost champion, ten out twelve and ten all thirteen sometimes. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, he got a um a base a clan castle right in the middle. I'm guessing he will have a. Guess he will have a freaking CC troops in there. Um, but I do want to attack it, but I don't have my ice golem to. You know what? Let's do it, bro. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Let's attack it from the inferno tower side. Let's go from this side. If I get two stars, I'll be happy too. But I'm just trying to go and see what happens here. Healers are gonna go the wrong way, but hopefully that's gonna be okay. I don't know. Here we go. That's not good, bro. Okay, how to put some stuff out real quick hopefully this will still work I don't know just want to make sure that thing dies fast bro got one star miners look strong still looks like we can still get a yeah I think we're gonna get a three star easy bro even with not having a uh, ice golem NCC troops. I mean, we, we, we had an EU drag. Never mind, we had, we had an EU drag. Cuter's gonna die pretty fast there. 
He was still alive? Dude. He literally was a clutch, bro. Yeah, we have like 20 miners left. Looks like that's gonna be game over for this base. So, here we go. That was a Max Hall 11 without the walls, basically. One expo was being worked on. Probably could've done better, but it's fine. Now, these wizard towers are making me confused, bro. It's not good. It's not, it's not good, it's not good. Hold up. This is not good at all. Yeah, this is game over. Bro, 98% bro game. Oh man, we, we should have had that, dog. It's all good. 98%, that's fine. So, GG. This guy always requests this stuff, bro. I don't know what he's thinking, dog. Alright. Anyway, that's LB Gaming, guys. That is a pretty good little start if you want to use those minor strats. Um, man, so close. So anyway, that was 98%. All those bombs took me out, bros. But that E drag also. That was a pretty good base, actually, dude. I, I think that base was better than the one I attacked in war. Just by a little bit. So, anywho, another big gaming man. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I appreciate y'all so much for stopping by. Town Hall 11. If y'all have any strats, let me know. Uh, I do have a E drag balloon freeze that I like to use too, if y'all want to check that out. But anyway, another big gaming. Peace out.